What's that, about 30 kilometers from Damascus, this one? Meet the Alcor family. Mum, Tracy, is from Yorkshire. Dad, Muafa, from Syria. Their girls have grown up in both countries. And now they're all worried about friends and family. Yeah, Ahmed went, uh, he, he went outside Damascus and disappeared. And uh, um, I believe that they're being killed. Over Arabic tea, the talk is not so much of chemical weapons and diplomatic manoeuvring. For them, it's about so many lives being lost. They need help. They need that action. They yeah, need help now. It. Not later, now. Because it's happening on a daily basis. It's not... this. The chemical weapons uh, issue isn't one thing. It's happening every day. They've heard David Cameron's promise to lead the humanitarian response. There may be visa extensions for Syrians already in the UK, but no plans to match Germany's commitment to take 5,000 refugees. It needs to follow Germany's lead, and if they say they care, they really should do something about it, start doing and stop talking about it. They can do it, so why not act now when they need it most? It's not all about the government. The UK's Syrian community is doing all it can, especially for women and children. They're sat there in, you know, in Syria just waiting, when is my turn? Or am I going to get food? Am I going to get my baby some milk? So when the day came and we saw a response, the general public were absolutely great. Yeah, yeah. For Syrians um, in this country, the desperate need is for information. But the internet is down and phone lines yeah. are dead. Yeah.